What's up YouTube? Thank you for viewing my first of many new videos. I'm going to show you how to make this COVID-19 face mask. First, I downloaded a mask from Thingiverse. And I also downloaded an N95 mask. Then I lowered it to a size that I wanted it and chopped it into pieces. Also, I will be putting the links in the description if you want to use the same masks that I used. I used a under $300 Ender 3 that I got on Amazon. The website that I'm using right now is called Tinkercad and it is a free website. I actually took around a month or maybe more to figure out how to actually use it. I really have zero experience in, with computers at all. Here, I uploaded the N95 face mask. Now, I'm putting a cylinder over the N95 respirator. And I'm covering all the areas that I want to cut out. Then, I'm going to put a cube and stretch it across the whole mask. And then I'm going to make the cylinder clear and group it. And put it directly over the mask and group it again. Now I brought the mask back on the grid. And now I'm just making a couple minor adjustments. Now I made sure the respirator was dead center before I clicked on both of the items and grouped them together. Now I'm making tubes out of the clear cylinders and making sure that they're all the right size. I pulled the cube out and stretched it so I can use it as a ruler to make sure everything is as even as I can make it. After grouping the holes, I'm going to export it and save it as a STL file. And when I do that, it's going to show an estimated price that they would give you if you were to send the design in to get it printed. And now we're all ready to print.
you can also print this small sander. And just smoothing it out a bit before painting and taking off the pointy edges. I'm now mixing paint and I'm making a dark gray and a light gray. I will now use three colors for the teeth. First the brown, and then I will use a beige color for the majority of it and let the brown show in the corners. After that, I will use white on the tip. While I'm waiting for another coat to dry, I duct tape the back of the mask so I can use the hot glue gun to seal the holes. Now I'm using just a little bit of black to outline a little bit of the mask. Also, I am using acrylic paint which I will then coat with Mod Podge five times when I'm done. I painted the gums purple and pink and then I painted the area that I hot glue gun black. There is no specific reason I'm using foam window seal for the mouth area. It's pretty much just what I had around. The way you can wash this is with a solution much like you would watch a tattoo machine that cannot be autoclaved. <laughs> 